think that what we're fighting about is stupid Just cause you don't agree don't mean it's stupid Lately communication feels so useless Savage If we don't got that obsessive love then what are we doing? I don't ask so much from you It's like you don't got the time to lose Make me feel like I'm a burden I tell you how I'm hurting, no You just take your story to take your day I ain't over it What's up everybody, it's me, your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage I'm here to bring you a message, it's currently 8.40 a.m. on August 30th, 2024 It's 62 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny here Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads upload. You feel me? Thank you, Most High God, for waking me up today, giving me the breath of life, for giving me an opportunity to deliver messages to the collective this morning, all right? I really appreciate it. Like, I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful just to take in that breath of life, man, because a lot of us don't have an opportunity to do that, okay? So I, rec I started to record. I was 20 minutes into a video, and I said, you know what? Yeah. Cause I was talking about something in the earlier and I just, I went, I went, think I was talking about it too long, but let's just, let's just do a quick recap of what I was talking about. Okay. First and foremost, um, happy Friday. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It is Labor Day weekend. So be safe out there. No drinking and driving. Please take Ubers if you need to. Okay. Uh, but, but just have a good time though. I'm not telling you not to drink. I'm not telling you not to, not to have a good time. Just be mindful. Be careful. Don't think about your, just don't get in the mindset of just thinking about yourself. Think about people that are around you, okay? Don't get all, you know, don't get all, don't get drunk and start acting a fool and end up in jail because it's going to be a long weekend, okay? If you get caught and if you, if you get, if you get, if you get at one of those traffic stops where they're, where they're giving people breathalyzers and checking them over the weekend to see if they are intoxicated while behind the wheel. Listen, today, I know there's somebody right now cracking open a drink or a beer and it's like we finna go on this road trip maybe to chicago maybe to atlanta i don't know but guess what you're gonna get stopped so long weekend buddy you never know what can happen I teach you a lesson okay yeah be careful next thing i was talking about too is all right, so we, I did bring up Atlanta. It's Labor Day weekend. So we all know what happens in, in Atlanta on Labor Day weekends. Or I'm sure it still goes on down there. It's, it's been a tradition down there for 30, 30 years or so, probably 40 or 30 years, 30 or 40 years. So be careful down in Atlanta. I know a lot of you people out there are not going to do it, especially if, if you're a part of the LGBTQ plus community. If you're somebody that identifies as gay, bisexual, down low, whatever, if you watch this channel, um, I did look at the st my statistics. Not a lot of men watch my channel, which is perfectly fine with me. Okay, um, but not a lot of men watch this channel. But I'm pretty sure some of you motherfuckers that do are probably LGBTQ plus, and some of you are probably going down to Atlanta this weekend and probably already live down there. So the only thing I'm gonna say is this. Okay, it's not that serious. It's really not. There's a the the the, the increase in 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 the in the in the uh, the increase in the contraction of HIV is skyrocketing in all play in all these different places all over the world, but in the United States it's 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 getting people and these are just these are just the reported cases the, these are just the the people that have gone to the doctor. Can you imagine how many people? Uh, that haven't gone to the doctor that are probably walking around um, HIV positive and don't know. If you were to ask one of those people, are you HIV positive? Are they going to say, I haven't been to the doctor. I don't know. No, they're going to say, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, if you're younger, see, this is the thing. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is part, this is the important part of this conversation. If you're somebody younger and you watch this channel, you're, you know, you're, you're a man that identifies as gay or bisexual, down low, blah, 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 pansexual, trisexual, 
it, any anybody sexual because a lot of people out there <clears throat> excuse me are anybody sexual um i understand that you might want to have fun you know and have a good time without having to worry about this that or the third i get it i was young at one point but i'll tell you that you don't want to have to worry about it now but you will worry about it later on down the line that's just how things go so wrap it up or don't have sex period i mean you you ain't even got it you ain't you, you know you could you could participate in canalingas okay and still walk away a week later with something forming around your mouth or in the back of your throat or on your tongue that's disgusting okay i'm just telling you what i know uh, but for you grown, but for you like you uh, uh, older dudes that maybe watch this channel, y'all y'all need to cut that shit out. I said what I said. Y'all are too old to be walking around here, getting all gussied up to go to these sex parties and have a good time, uh, knowing damn well that your ass is positive or sick with something. Yet you're not telling people. You're still lying to people. Okay, just because you want to get your rocks off. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself because what 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 it really comes down to is that you're going to have a lot of older guys, guys around my age, 40 plus, that are going to be down in Atlanta this weekend, kicking it, partying, having a bunch of money with a bunch of drugs, ready to distribute them to younger, good looking guys who are just down there to try to have a good time. And a lot of these older cats are not going to tell you that they are sick and they should be ashamed of themselves. You feel me? So, again, you grown ass motherfuckers down in Atlanta that are just down there trying to get everybody else sick, y'all are really probably going to hell. That's why it's important for people out there to not trust what anybody tells you. Uh, I had I had a friend of mine back in the day who was a huge whore uh, that told me that he just assumed everybody has it, so he just always used condoms, period, which, from a whore standpoint, makes a lot of sense. So you should probably take that advice. Just assume everybody you meet has HIV and that there's a risk that you're going to be able to contract that virus so always walk around with condoms take a prep if that's what you're gonna do um, and if you're gonna be a whore do it with pr protect yourself you know I you know I can't I can't say one thing or another about that if you protect yourself do what you want to do but as but some friendly advice is okay um, if it, it we all know it feels different we, we don't we know but it but it but it's gonna feel very very different when you wake up three four days after you get done and you gotta pee and it burns okay that feels a lot different now don't it and it also feels a lot different when you uh when you when your health declines and you got to start taking more medication and you start looking really kind of ill and your body just is rejecting all those medications you're it feels different then too so i mean pick your poison that's what i heard all right. Eight forty-seven a.m. I caught that number. That's Illinois. All right. Also, too, I was wondering um, how Mother Teresa. What she? I would. It would have been. It would have been really good to be to be a fly on the wall. To see what happened when Mother Teresa went back home after she got through being of service to people. Not to say that she was like a, like somebody completely different, but you know, she was just very nice, um, very, very soft spoken, very sweet. And so you got to know that somebody like her, who was in service to people, uh, who was a human, she was a humanitarian. Uh, she had to come into contact with people who were evil, demonic, ignorant, like scabs. And I wonder what she said when she went back home. Like, did she just go back home? Did she cry? Did she, did she just, I mean, maybe, you know, after doing it for so long, she probably just, you know, let it roll off her shoulders. But, you know, at some point, she probably was like, went home and was like, did, and whoever she was talking to, she, there's this, there's this dude there, there's this, guy, this man there, he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, she had, she had to do that. It's, that's, you know, that's human. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because there's a there's there's it's I've been picking up in the collective energy for a while now that there are people that are are just very manipulative opportunistic and manipulative people who take kindness for a weakness or take kindness uh, or, or think just because somebody's kind or nice 
that they're easy to get over, you know, that they, 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 they can be manipulated. And that's not the case. That's not the truth. See, I come, I, the way that I used to be, used to be, uh, before I started having my spiritual awakening, I think I probably was like 2016 when I started to like have these kind of conversations with God about who I, who I was supposed to be. But before then, I was one of those people that the moment I saw something, I was I would cuss somebody out. I would clown on them. You know what I'm saying? I'd shade them. And that, you know, back in the day used to kind of really kind of excite me. <laughs> it did. Mm -hmm. South Node energy. But. I realized so one time I had I, I clowned on somebody so bad. And I saw like the humiliation on their face. And I said, I just wasn't going to do that no more because it made me feel bad when I looked at them. Because a lot of these people already are lacking in very particular areas within themselves. And I become no better than them if I make if I if I blast them um, and, and, and make them feel really, really horrible. When all I really have to do is kind of kill a person with kindness. I don't I'm not really about I don't like discord. I don't like arguing with people. And yeah, there's, you know, there's always kind of like the, you run the risk of, you know, people kind of sucking the energy out of you or doing some type of energy siphoning. But at the same time, when, if you protect your energy and you already, and you, and you know what it is, there's nothing that people can do. So we sit back and we watch people make fools of themselves. Or we sit back and watch people think that they, uh, that they're so skilled or they're, that they're so attractive or that they're so irresistible i don't know i just heard irresistible so somebody in the collective energy feels like they're so irresistible there's no way that the collective is going to turn them down that's bullshit okay because when it gets to that when it gets to that part of it this is when you know people one 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 on the clock this is when you know that people are then not these people are not uh they're, they're trying to bend somebody's free will by being extremely manipulative by, by, but they, they, these people have whole plans about how they're going to approach certain people. I can see it and I can hear it. It's, it's, that's, that's disgusting. It's deep and it's disgusting because they're not, they're not making plans to approach somebody to go, hey, let's be friends. I want to get to know you. No, they're coming. They're, they're, they're making plans to approach people to conquer them, or to, or to control them, or to, or to, or to gain off of them based upon what they, maybe see somebody's opportunities are. That's whack as hell. I don't get it. I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like that at all. If I if you know if if, if I like somebody, I'ma tell a person, like, hey, what up? You know what I'm saying? They can they can either accept it or not. And then after that, you just leave it alone. Uh but you get people that already know. They already know. They all see this is the thing. They are a lot of people already know that there's a risk that you're not gonna fuck with them at all. So what they what do they do? They come along and then they you know they they lay in wait they lie in wait they 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 get to know you, okay? And we're talking about things on social media again, people. So what are we talking about here? Uncle Savage does Uncle Savage has already told has already said had a conversation about this a few times about how social media is it's media. People only see a very small glimpse of who you are. But then, but they sit around and they and they study you based upon that or what other people say, what? <laughs> and so they get they 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 they're like, oh yeah, I know who this person is. I've gotten to know this person. I know how they work. I know what they like. Okay. I know what they're gonna go for. I know how to get my you know slither my way in there, get around the collective. I know what to do. I know what to do. No, you don't. OK, no, you don't really. You don't because see why they had their minds made up about what they're going to do. Little do they know collective. We already got our minds made up about what we not going to do. And the one thing that we know now is that we pay attention to what our gut instincts, our instincts, our intuition, our discernment tells us what we are not going to do. You feel me? We pay attention to those things now because that's what the past has taught us. That horrible, shitty past that we had with these shitty people in those shitty circumstances when we were in very South Node energy, when we were shitty too. We, we realize and we recognize the patterns. 
And we know people now because our discernment, our skill, our, our strength, of, our, our gift of discernment has increased. It's strengthened. So we can see it coming. A mile away. Okay. <laughs> but they already got their mind made up about how they're going to make up your mind. No. Anyway, on with this. I already said my prayer for the, for the reading. So we got concern, toil and labor, and bad health with the, within the Kipper deck. 33, 31, and 38. Those numbers could be very significant, okay? So what's that? 64, 64 plus 38. 64 plus 38 is 72. Breaks down to a 9. So somebody's alone. Somebody's alone or somebody's been ghosted. Somebody could be ghosted. Somebody's alone, but somebody's independent. Nine breaks down to that usually talks about independence being by oneself. So we got concern to toil and labor to bad health. Somebody's worried about um, some type of work they did. So now they have bad health. Toil and labor could talk about, you know, working your fingers to the bone. Toil and labor can also talk about, um, what else can toil labor talk about? It talking about doing like dark magic, work doing work uh, doing work <laughs> negative energy work. Toil and labor does it does definitely. Um, so now somebody's got bad health. They're concerned about this this dark magic that they've done, and now they've got bad health. Okay, message of concern uh, in the reverse number fourteen. That number could be very significant as well. Fourteen breaks down to a five, which is conflict and change. Uh, they didn't pay attention. This is what I'm picking up on. They got a message of concern about this beforehand. For beforehand is what I'm picking up on. And and they didn't. Oh, two people. Or oh, this could be talking about a contract. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Change. I told you five. Lovers. All right, so what are we talking about here? Somebody was doing some type of dark magic or some type of energy manipulation, some type of magic um, within a marriage, okay? A, a marriage, a, a, the marriage is in the reverse, okay? So this talks about a, a, a partnership. A, no, this, is, this was, we're definitely talking about somebody that was doing some type of love magic or some type of dark magic to, to, about, a, about a marriage here. Two people, though. I wonder if this was two people doing this magic. Yeah, it was. Two people doing magic to a married couple. There's a married couple out here, that, a karmic married couple at that, okay, with the marriage in the reverse. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't um, pay attention to the signs. They didn't heed the warning. You know how people, so the, the nine, so nine, 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 nine. Somebody could be a Virgo. Possibly a Gemini. We got nine out here again. Changes. So we're just going to go with changes. A change. To come through spirit. A change for these lovers. Gemini and Virgo could be significant. Also Pisces as well. Yep. So we got a change for two lovers. Okay. Because they were doing some type of toil and labor. Boogity boogity boop. Bippity boppity boop. Boop. They were doing some magic. They didn't pay attention to. They got the warnings. They, they 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 did not pay attention to the warnings. They weren't concerned about it. These couple confirmation. They weren't concerned about this at all. So now they're in some type of bad health. Bad health could be actual bad health, or it could be some type of change. Let's see what the change is for this couple. Okay, we're gonna be using the after tarot deck. Let me turn my chair here. I gotta give me an office chair, but I don't know about that quite yet. So we got change for these lovers after they've been doing some type of magic. And by magic, manipulation, something, okay? But they were doing some work against something, somebody, probably somebody. So tell us, uh, tell us about what's going on here. Spirit want me to grab some dice. Ooh. King of Cups, Pisces energy, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy, but that's in the upright, okay? Let's see. 
Well, let's get some dice out here. Spirit said grab two. We got shark and bathtub. <laughs> If this message resonates with you, you need to cleanse yourself. You need to cleanse yourself. You got, there's some very predatory energy around you. Okay? You need to cleanse yourself. That could be a message for somebody. I don't know. It could have something to do with this as well. Yeah, you need to cleanse yourself. Five again. Five again, I can't make it up. With the two of pentacles in the reverse, something's very off balance. Somebody lost control or can't, ha every time I see the two of pentacles in the reverse, it's like they can't handle it. Now they can't handle it. These people can't handle it or this king of cups can't handle it. All right, so we got uh, page of pentacles. So page of pentacles in the reverse to the five of Swords to the five of cups. Ten, that's a ten. That's an ending. Tens mean ending, okay? Something they can't handle. This king of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, masculine energy. He's in the upright, but that's just how this could that could just be how he appears, or this could or this could be the minute. Excuse me, sorry with that it's that ginger ale. Uh it is the uh they could have been doing work against the King of Cups energy, a very emotionally imbalanced, loving, caring, masculine energy water sign somebody that's intuitive somebody that's very in touch with their masculine and feminine energy okay but the king of cups in this in this deck is pouring out a cup okay he's pouring out this cup okay turning down an offer an offer so What am I picking up on? These lovers were these lovers are doing some type of Now lovers doesn't lovers can be uh, you know I feel like this is important. I don't know why I need, feel like I need to say this but <clears throat> lover I'm picking up on same sex energy here. Yeah, uh temperance energy, balance, healing, remaining balanced. These, these, this couple made an offer to somebody or tried to force an offer. You see, this is, this is where this is, this is where this toil and labor comes in at. Tell me about, so this King of Cups turned down an offer uh, because they, they wanted, there was some type of, oh, oh, confirmation, damn it. <laughs> what is this offer about? Five again? A lot of change. The King of Cups has a very good foresight. They pay attention to their intuition. Uh, this this couple this couple did did some work against the King of Cups because they turned on an offer to, to and you know what I'm picking up on and so it's so weird because it's kind of like. Let's say this is a male and female together. They made an offer to a King of Cups, like a love offer. Because we got marriage and partnership out here, love, marriage and lovers out here. They, they, there was some type of offer to join the fun or like join this Uge Toi, whatever the hell, okay? And he turned it down, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And they felt defeated. Yep. And they were pissed off about it. They were crying over spilled milk. Like they, they felt some kind of way about it. Like, you know. Or this King of Cups turned the offer down because he already knew that they were just trying to, you know, the five, the five of the five of swords talks about conquering. It does. It talks about conquering and winning. So they could have looked at this King of Cups like a conquest. 
uh, and he turned it down and they in the five of cups he already saw what they were trying to do you see what i'm saying so this fell underneath the page of pentacles here you feel me this he he saw he saw this and and something some i feel like something told him about his health as well he wanted to remain healthy and balanced this talks about good health this king of cups could also be an earth angel this it just he this person just does not want to be low vibing could be so this bad health comes in this couple could be sick They could have like a sexually trans, a sexually spiritually transmitted demon, a sexually transmitted demon, something like that. So what did this King of Cups do? He decided not to go. Just, you know, the King of Cups is very emotionally balanced. Temperance card, you know, balanced. Don't like a lot of drama. Like, nope, I'm good. Took a risk to walk away from these people. Okay, or he's good. I don't want to take the risk because he he to, to avoid some type of betrayal or heartbreak or devastation. So he turned he turned this he turned the offer down. So then that's when they got mad and started doing energy. <laughs> these people are crazy. Again, whoever you are out there, cleanse your energy because these people are still preying on you. Cleanse your energy. These people are sending out some type of negative energy towards you because you refused a love offer from a couple. That's what I'm picking up on. 33 in the clock when I look down. Exactly. All right, so now they're in bad health. They they did some magic. They did some magic. I feel like they got some signs. I feel like they got signs. So basically what happens is that, you know, you get people that, um, like when people do a return to sender on somebody, that it has not sent them any type of energy. What happens to that? It returns. It's a boomerang, bitch. It goes back to you. The same goes for people who do dark magic on innocent people, especially if they're an earth angel, okay? Uh, because the earth angel didn't want to be a part of your weird weird kind of poly poly ali ali relationship that's weird and it's wrong so they received some type of signs i'm picking up on they got they got signs they were they were clear they were clear i'm hearing clear and visible warning signs that they were in trouble for doing this negative energy work against this king of cups so now they ask is a six so now they got some changes coming okay tell me about the changes here for these uh for this couple and they're still doing it we got the King of Pentacles in the reverse. There's an Empress here to the Hierophant. They're doing magic. Dark magic. So I'm a little concerned about this here. You could be a masculine energy just but very you could be a masculine energy in your empress very high vibe and feminine energy and to be honest with you uh my my thoughts on that is that there's a if a male and female couple it, trust and believe if a male and female couple approach a male to join in on the fun it's the man that is attracted to the man okay trust and believe that <laughs> there's something very there's something very feminine about another man that another man says hey babe let's get this dude to come into the bedroom with us he's not he doesn't want to he's not bringing him in there because he wants to see him bang you well maybe he does but he's not looking at you being banged by the dude like he's not let's, can we just we're door adults around here right the man is not the man does not want the the man doesn't want He's, he's not interested in, in your pleasure. He's interested in seeing the man perform on you. You're just a tool for your down low gay ass man. Okay? I'm telling you this because this is what I know. I also know too that a lot of men that watch corn, okay? They're not watching the corn for the women. They're watching the corn because they like to watch the men. Facts. And I'm seeing why now a lot of men probably don't watch my channel because they don't want me to they, they, listen. But it's the truth, though. I'm not saying every man. I'm saying a lot of men. It's just like men. In, it's just like men in the showers in the locker room at a gym. What do you think they're? What do you? Th what do you think they're? What? Do you, 
listen, I was never comfortable with that. I was never comfortable with taking a shower in, in, in at a pool or in a gym unless I had on by, like shorts, swimming trunks, okay? But a lot of these men be walking around there free balling, taking showers like it's nothing. It's because they're looking at one another. Duh. I'd rather go home and take a shower. You feel me? So, you're a very high vibing spiritual feminine energy, my dude, whoever you are. Or apply the roses they fit. Be a woman too. But I'm picking up heavily on a king of cups, a very sensitive kind of in touch in touch with this femininity. You're a very high vibing feminine energy. They're doing dark magic on you because you turned down their love offer. This king of cups is probably the masculine in this situation. What else are we talking about here? Again, people again, you got people that get mad because they can't bend your free will. Ain't no nobody gotta sleep with anybody and nobody gotta like somebody. The fuck? Okay. For real. What is wrong with people? No, nobody, nobody has to do anything. That's it, it. There we go. Nobody has to do anything. For real. Can we have a commercial break real quick? So I'm just going to share something with you guys, okay? There is somebody, you know, over over the last few years, there's been a couple of people, you know, that I was digging on that, you know, I, you know, hollered at and, and you know, it wasn't, it wasn't accepted. Okay, fine. I don't go around. I'm not, I didn't go around going, well, damn, I'm going to do some magic on them and I hate their guts. No, nah, it's just like, okay, fine. It ain't, we, it is not your thing. We not your type, whatever the case may be. You just keep it moving. But see, these are the kind of people that I'm always concerned about. Why is it so important for, for people to get people involved sexually with you? It's because then generally speaking, these people, it's, if they're not, if they don't have a disease, they have a spiritually transmitted disease that they can give you. And that is, that's a real thing. Okay. Energy siphoning. It, we got an incubus and succubus together that probably need to just leave each other. There's nothing between them. Then there's nothing between them but their desire to, to siphon the energy from people or to or to or to conquer people. There's something very conquering with the five of swords out here. They like to conquer people and control them. Get out. This that's stupid. You know, people people get real bent out of shape when you when you when you decline their love offer. You know, and and, and that's some real that's some real that's some real shit. I knew somebody a while back who was infatuated and and, and, and like obsessed with their straight male friend. Okay, and the moment that their straight male friend told them it wasn't like that no more, this nigga lost his whole entire mind. He went on a whole hate train on this dude for no reason. Okay, because dude didn't want him. That's weird. Give me another card here. I'm starting to get irritated because people, let me light some sage. Again, the dark magic card, one, it was flipped over, it flipped over. So this King of Pentacles doing dark magic here. Yeah. Yeah, he's a magician. He's a warlock. And they also are involved in a lot of third, a lot of third party situations. They do this. This is this is what this is how they do their magic. It's sex magic. It's sex magic, and they probably do a lot of drinking and drugs as well. Okay. Jeez Louise. Let me get. Let me just pause this real quick. <laughs> Seriously, let me light this other sage. What time is it? Nine thirteen. Okay, one second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it with people. People are weird AF. Wow. Damn. This is what kind of world we live in. We live in a world now where people really feel like that you you better do what they want you to do. Or how dare you turn me down? Don't you know who I am? Yeah, I know you're a fucking scab. Okay? I know you're manipulative. 
I know you. I know for some odd reason in your world that you feel like you should get whatever you want from anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. And that's not how this world works. Okay. Ain't nobody gotta like you, no matter how fine you think you are. Okay. Damn. Like seriously, people. People really feel like. They that damn fine where everybody, you everybody, you're everybody's type. No, you're not. You're not everybody's type. So there's some there's a magic backfire going to this king of this king. This king of pentacles. Okay? There's a magic backfire. There's a the backfire going towards this couple, but especially this king of pentacles here. Okay? Cleanse your, cleanse your energy out because these predators are they 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 could be using water magic they could be using water magic to hurt you okay what is that called marine spirits they could be using marine spirits to attack you One more. Check this out. Check this shit out. Okay. We got the King of Pentacles in the reverse to the Magician, to the Seven of Pentacles, to Justice. Okay. Justice. To the World. To the Eight of Swords. <laughs> I think change I think change well it's not journey journey card in in in, in the uh in the uh Kipper deck is usually prison or jail but so this is where karma yep bad news bad news here okay there's something there's something ooh This King of Pentacles is going to jail. This King of Pentacles is going to jail. I'm going to tell you why. Seven of Pentacles. This person has been doing something for a very long time. This magic, this manipulation, this bending, bending of free will, whatever they've been doing. I feel like they've been using a lot of uh, drugs to manipulate people's free will. If you, you, you feel, you, you feel me? This is getting somebody caught up in a, a court situation. The world. This could you could see this on the internet. You may see it all over the world. I feel like whoever this is is gonna be on the news. This King of Pentacles. I don't know. This this whoever the, whoever this person that whoever they're with. I don't know what's gonna happen because the only person that's showing up is this King of Pentacles. But like I said before, the nigga only wanted the nigga only wanted it wasn't them. So they might have had this fem, this feminine approach you. And I don't know if you're I don't know if you're uh, Tay Gay. I don't know if you how you do it. I don't know that or not. It ain't none of my business, and it really ain't none of theirs neither. But I kind of feel like they the the feminine the female in this marriage approached you. You know what I'm saying? They were using the female to kind of get you to, to lure you in. Uh, even if you are somebody that is LGBTQ plus, okay, Tay Gay, how you doing? Uh, even if you are that, I feel like the fem the female is being used was being used to just kind of befriend you to kind of manipulate you like that. But it was really the man that wanted to get you in there. This is kind of like you know the diddler kind of shit, but it's not him we're talking about. It could be. I don't know. But this person is going to jail. This is the change. This is the change that's coming to this couple. Because if he's affected, she's affected as well. The sun in the reverse to the moon, to the wheel of fortune. Spirit says that's the truth. And she's gonna be in trouble too for watching. They're about to lose a very big first of all, they're gonna they're going broke. Spirit says, so the sun in the reverse. 
There's been some kind of secret about their third parties. This, 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 these, these. Th I, dare I say threesomes? There's this group kind of sex, whatever they got going on here. It's been hidden. Mm-hmm. It's been hidden. Okay. What they've been doing this whole time. This is what's been hidden. They've been they've been using with the three of the three of cups out here. They've been using drugs to 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 get people where they want them. Now we got the Wheel of Fortune here. It's been hidden because these people want to stay at the top of the Wheel of Fortune. These people are probably people that have some that have money. Yeah. The Eight of Wands here. All right. They've done this repeatedly to people. They do it fast too. I feel like I feel like what happens like people don't even realize what's happened. There's status though. There's something here about them being on top of the Wheel of Fortune that gives them the audacity or because the, the Eight of Wands talks about fast moving action here. This Queen of Wands is who he's with. Or there is some Queen of Wands that this happened to that's about to tell. Eight of Wands could be. I don't know. But somebody's either been watching or this queen of wands is who he's with. She's a witch. She's a succubus. Well, she's a witch. She, they, they, she, she's the upright person in this situation. This is the person that's been watching you or that was that was spying on you or that's been communicating with you online. I don't know. But she's been watching. She's she's watched this man do this repeatedly to people with the three with the three of cups here to the sun and the reverse of the moon. She's kept this a secret as well. She's a part of it. OK, this is what this is the reason why this will of fortune is there. But something 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 is very fast is happening here. Spirit says that's the truth. These people are under heavy judgment. I feel like judgment's been called. Spiritual court has adjourned, okay? Because these people these people attacked you spiritually. And you are somebody that's a very hierophant, empress, king of cups, energy, temperance card. You are an earth angel. You are a high vibing. You're a high ranking. You're a high ranking star seed kind of energy. You're somebody very, you're very highly spiritually ranked. And they came for you. So now guess what? The change that's coming for this couple is they're going the man's going to jail because i feel like what's going to be exposed because this has been a secret sun in the reverse to the moon this talks about huge a huge confirmation a huge secret of their three of cups lifestyle what they've been doing to people now this queen of wands doesn't have to be the woman that he was with but there's somebody that's been watching this or there's somebody that's been spying i don't know but watching i feel like this is her energy though or maybe not i don't know take the energy as it resonates but somebody's been watching. Somebody, somebody's been watching or spying. But I feel like this, this, this talks about this woman that he was with. She's, she's, she's not out the woods either, either. Yeah, they're about to lose. Probably be sued. There could be a lawsuit. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, these people like to, these people. These people are very kind of very devilish. These people. I know devils in the reverse, but the devil in the reverse doesn't mean that that there's a detachment from. Uh, that there's a detachment from this energy this really could really mean that these motherfuckers are some really low vibrational demonic energies you feel me yeah and they're about to lose it all that change that bad health so there is because pentacles actually you know a lot of times people always talk about pentacles and it's money but no pentacles represent health in the tarot deck so they're in some serious bad health these people could be ill as well due to their very low vibrational toxic devilish ways Bad health. Come through spirit. Yeah, secrets about to come out about that. Yep. About what these people were doing behind the scenes. Being slick, sneaky. Now they're caught it all trapped in their head. Mm-hmm. They're about to be. They're going to jail. Somebody going to jail. Jail. Mm-hmm. Final word. Yep, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna happen. It's going to happen here. Yeah, for them doing that work against you. Okay, toil and labor. Doing that work against you. Because you decided not to, because you stood on business and said, no, I don't want to be a part of that bullshit. There you go again, dude. Yeah, you poured, I can't make it up. Four of cups. You poured out the offer. You did not want the offer. You said, no, thank you. Spirit says that's the truth. That's what protected you. Yeah, because they came to you with some page fishy ass cup offer. Okay. That's what they did. 
And again, you said no. Okay? Cut them bitches off very quick. King of Swords, you made a very decisive action. Let's get some state energy out here and some initials. And just, I, I'm going to add some countries countries to this as well this weekend. Maybe five on the clock. So whoever you are out there, uh, you made you 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 made a very good decision to cut these people off or just to return. And see, that's the thing. Like I don't even really feel like you know these people. I don't really feel like you know these people. There's nothing that tells me that you know these people at all. Like, you weren't friends with these people. I feel like these people probably, again, saw you online, saw you somewhere, but probably online, tried to get you to join their little weird-ass shit. I, we've picked, we've, a, lot, a lot of us have been picking up on, on, on these kind of couples. I'm not going to say it's the same couple, but a lot of these kind of couples that, you know. Uh, so, you women out there, I feel like this is part of the message this morning, too. My mouth is dry. Yeah, and I grab soda, right? Keep your comments to yourself. Ah. Uh, excuse me. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all of my uploads uploads. You feel me? 11.55 on the clock. Hey, click the link below uh, for my Etsy shop, okay? Got some new t-shirts up there. I know a lot of you people, I'm not doing that. Montana's significant. Let's get two more out here. The treasure state. Treasure. That's significant. Treasure. Vegas. Okay? These people could live in Vegas. Texas is significant. Texas is significant. Yeah. Or California. Texas, Texas, Vegas, California is significant. I got all that from Indiana. Okay. One more. So this is so this is like a PSA for women too. California can't make it up. Illinois as well. I said that from the, well, I don't know if I might have said that on the first one, but Illinois is significant as well. I did catch eight, area code 847. So we got these, oops, excuse me, spiritual bird. Uh, so there's something about Vegas, California, and Texas. Illinois as well. Uh, Montana could have something to do with it. I don't really feel like it does. I feel like that card came out because I had to see the word treasure. Talk about treasure, Vegas, slots treasure okay but they're so women i'm just here to tell you if your man comes to this is this is very significant man because people i don't really feel i really feel like people need to i don't i don't know i don't know i feel i feel like there's there's some people out there that really need to hear this okay it's just like it could be it could be the same with two men you know you get your man comes to you and goes hey you know let's get dude over there blah 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 he don't want that dude to come over so that y'all can have fun. He wants the dude to come over so he can have fun with the dude. Duh. Same as a man and a woman. If your man comes to you and says, hey, I got my homeboy. I want to bring him into the room with us. Uh, he wants to get with his boy. It ain't got shit. You're, you, you, are the, you are the bait. Confirmation. You're the bait. Confirmation again. So don't don't be a don't be an idiot. Okay? Whoever you are, whoever this feminine energy is, her ass confirmation is in trouble too. Cause I feel like they've been drugging people. You would think that I had this timed. See? Alexa, good morning. Good morning. It's a great day to unplug and recharge. Especially for fans of the Wild Robot book series. Alexa, stop. Ever since I plugged her back up, she's been pushing that, pushing that robot shit. I don't want to hear that. Plug her up. 
plugging somebody up. I plug my Etsy store, ho. That's too many. Well, we got the letter P. P W. The <laughs> S. Somebody did something about passwords. Okay, we got P W S Z E N, and then we got the letter D here. Okay, Dennis. The name Dennis could be very significant here. Zen. Zen is out here. That could be significant. I don't know. I'm definitely seeing Dennis spend. These people probably got money to spend, or they offered you something, or they, or they will offer you something. This could be past, present, future energy. I feel like I feel like if this hasn't happened to you yet, dog, because you are a dude, man. Cleanse your energy because they are circling around you, baby. Predators, clean, clean your energy out, okay? So they're probably gonna offer to spend. Like I heard, I could heard they could possibly offer you like a trip, okay? They could offer you a trip. They could offer to buy you something, okay? If you're on like a public platform, they could offer you a, a very large donation. Don't accept it. Well, I don't know. I don't accept. Don't accept it. Don't accept it for a favor. I mean, a lot of times people will send you a donation. You don't know what they're sending you the donation for, you know? So use your discernment. I don't know. That's what I heard. Something is pending. P-E-N-D. Something is pending. We got Wednesday. Something could happen on a Wednesday. Something could, ha could happen on a Wednesday. Wesley, the name Wes, seven. I'm seeing seven for whatever reason. Seven could be significant. Seven could be your life path number. Somebody's nickname could be seven. Somebody could be a cancer. Spun. Yeah, these they use drugs, G. Crystal meth, cocaine. Ecstasy, people still pop X. They're playing with that. They're playing with the dead cat, okay? Because I seen something the other day. I said, what spew? What is it? What do you see? What? What? Something about spew. And that doesn't sound good at all, okay? And then we got P-E-D-S. Yikes. Pay attention. Okay. I feel like that's it. Let's get an Angel Whispers card out and then I'll call it. So, S-E-W. Somebody can make clothing. One of these people, you can make clothing. Um, something about so though. Dupe. Somebody thinks you're a dupe. <laughs> Somebody thinks you're a dupe. Pez, P E Z. You could like Pez, Pez dispensers? Like a Pez dispenser? That could be significant. Passwords, something about passwords. These people could be hacking, hacking your stuff. But they're, if this hasn't happened yet, they're, they, if they're gonna approach you, you're gonna turn down the offer, then they're gonna work some magic. Then, then, they're, then they're gonna get their karma. This could have already happened. I feel like they, I feel like they, I feel like this is like a pattern for these people. So if they make people certain offers and people decline the offers, and I don't really feel like you have to be very kind of, I don't really feel like it has anything to do with the fact of whether or not you're shitty with them when you be like, man, I like, hell no, I don't, what, what y'all? You know, I don't even think it got anything to do with that. I just really kind of feel like people that decline their offer, they, these people take it very personal and they, then they go into this kind of energy manipulation. We are talking about, uh, you know, two people that are dibbling, dabbling in dark magic. They manipulate people to get what they want. Um, and that doesn't work on high vibing spiritual beings. I said that early. Didn't I say that early on in, the, in this reading uh, before I pulled the cards? 
when somebody when somebody's high vibing, uh, they're and they're, they're they they know who they are. They're, especially uh, with this hierophant empress energy out here, you can't manipulate an empress, whether they're male or female. You can't manipulate an emperor. Once a person is high vibing like that, high ranking, when they realize who they are, when they're on their north node, that shit doesn't work. It immediately bounces back. And see, I said it yesterday during my last my, my the last message that I uploaded yesterday. People do the wrong things to the right person. Okay, I was gonna say the wrong person. No, they do the they do the wrong thing to the right person, and then they get that clap back. And then this is what happens. This is how karma hits people. You feel me? Edward, the name Edward could be very significant. Edwards. Edwards. Or Edward or Edwards. Twenty-one twenty-one on the clock. You are in control of your own destiny. Exactly. Like I said, nobody can free will. Nobody can bend your free will. They should be, people should stop doing that. You are in control of you, not nobody else. Okay? That's the end of this message. I'm closing out the reading. 144 as I look down. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all of my uploads upload. You feel me? New subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. That's what you, Savage Apple Seeds. Hit the join button if you'd like to uh, join the monthly monthly giveaways. Um, I'll be starting that um, next month. I, I'd probably do it in the middle of the month. Um, Intergalactic Beings Galactic Federation. Hi, how you doing? Anybody that's made any type of financial contributions to my channel, whether that's through PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, or Super Thanks, I appreciate you, and I hope you get that back 10,000 times fold. I also appreciate the love and spiritual donations made to my channel. Those are invaluable, and I hope you get that back as well 10,000 times fold. Spirit guys, spirit teams, law enforcement, y'all are the Jedi's, okay? I love my ancestors, my beloved ancestors of the highest white divine light. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for allowing me to be a vessel to break generational curses and get them spiritual lick backs and be y'all's mouthpiece, okay? Uh, I think that's it. What's up, baby? All right, that's it. That's it. We're out. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.